G'day guys, Big Gordon here, and today I'm here to show you uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles, one of my all-time favorite racing games on the PS3, up here on PC on the RPCS3 emulator. Um, this is kind of like a follow-up to my Xenia, or Xenia, I don't know how you pronounce it, video where I tried to play this game on the Xbox 360 emulator. So... Um, this is just a condensed version of my like 25 minute gameplay video. If you want to see the full uncut um, video, you can check that out. There'll be like a little thing -o somewhere on the video. You can click on it or there can be a link in the description, whichever works. So yeah, I'm basically just going to show you the two different um, renderers, how they perform. The first one will be OpenGL and the second one we will be Vulkan. Um, but I have to say our RPCS3 seems like the most stable version of emulating Midnight Club LA on a PC so far as of today, the 12th of December, 2019. So let's get into it. So firstly, here's just the basic configuration settings. Just changed a little bit. I haven't changed too much, but, um, if you do have a CPU that has lots of cores, like I have an AMD Ryzen 1700X which has like eight cores, I think. I'm not really too sure. Um, if you do have heaps of cores like that, make sure you enable the um, enable thread scheduler as that can give you some, Just it just helps improve performance because you've got all those cores, the game can utilize it more just to you know help you get up with that. Other than that, you can head over to the GPU. I've let, you can change the, um, the resolution. I recommend not changing the resolution itself, but the resolution scale, which is just below it. I've left it at 100%, so it just runs at 720p, which is all right. Um, and you can see there's the renderer uh, choice. We're gonna leave that as OpenGL. And for audio, um, I've clicked the, I've enabled the buffering or disabled that actually, sorry, um, which should help with some of the audio issues that you will hear, um, but hasn't helped too much. So I believe that would just be something that can fix with further improvements to the emulator itself. But let's get into it anyway. So the first one will be uh, Mini Cobbles Angeles OpenGL renderer on the RP, RPC S3. As you can see, here's the load time. I don't really think it matters, but I thought I'd just chuck it in there just in case you guys cared about the load time for the two renderers. And we're just gonna speed it up here just to um, not waste too much time looking at the loading. As you can see, we are in the game. Um, that took a minute nine seconds to get in, so not bad. Um, in the top left corner, you'll be able to see the FPS count. It's quite small, but it's there. So we're gonna get 11, 12 frames per second. Um, you can probably hear, if I unmute it for a second, you can hear that stutter in the audio, um, which can get quite annoying to be honest. Um, and that's just constant. I don't really know how you can really fix it to be honest. When you do hit a car like here, the game kind of just like doesn't like it too well. The model kind of glitches out. But as you can see here, when you stop the car itself, the FPS seems to rise and that audio stutter kind of goes away. But as soon as you start driving again, that FPS drops and that audio stutter um, returns. You know what? That's fine. We have a pretty decent going um, emulation of Midnight for Los Angeles so far. Now we'll just skip a couple, maybe about 30 seconds ahead. And you will see here that the game crashed. Fatal error. <laughs> so, um, yeah, OpenGL seems to crash a lot. Um, most likely because it isn't relying on a, a proprietary, like, you know, a separate graphics device. It's kind of just running off your CPU and whatnot. So now we're going to, um, switch on over to Vulkan. And what Vulkan does, it actually uses your graphics card. If you see there, it says graphics uh, device, 
and it says my 1060 there. So it will try use that or it will use that 1060 to help um, emulate this game. And here's the load time again. Um, we'll just speed this up. On Vulcan, I think it's like a bit longer, maybe like five seconds longer. But it doesn't really matter too well, too much to be honest. Um, with Vulcan, we still get that audio stutter a little bit. Yeah, we do. Um, and the FPS is about the same as well, about 12, 13 frames per second. But it seems a bit more playable, to be honest, in my eyes anyway. Um, we'll still have the same issues, like crashing into the car kind of doesn't really like it, but it's all good. Um, and you'll experience some little audio issues, but that's fine. What I do prefer though over this from the Xenia is that the audio actually works. Like you can hear the car engine, you can hear the music playing and it all works properly regardless of this stutter effect that's currently in place. Uh, there's an audio thing right there. Um, because on the Xenia, if you watch the video, the sound isn't very well put in to be honest. It's kind of like... Yeah, I don't know. I think that's just an emulation problem. But other than that, it's a bit better on like the FPS side. But it crashes a lot. So that's what made me stop playing, uh, playing it. So we're going to try see if we can get a race with this guy. Flashing our headlights. And this is already one up, one GL because we couldn't even get a race to start. As you can see, our car model is kind of bugged when it's damaged, but that's, you know, it's right. It's not that bad. But with this low FPS, we will see uh, stuff to take longer, like this cutscene, well, cutscene in quotation marks, to um, get this game, I mean, get the race started and the timer is like not exact because the game isn't running at its full speed. Um, but on that's all good. The handling is, I mean it's pretty easy to race around in here. You know the handling feels fine. Um, yeah I don't really have anything else to say really. Um, we'll skip ahead. And it all seems to be pretty work, pretty playable to be honest. I'm just going to skip this race because see that we can, the, the um, camera changes do work so we can go into the cockpit of our vehicle, we can have all these different camera angles and they do work as well, they're not broken, which is good to see. Now I'll skip a bit more ahead, we've come first, which is good, and we're going to have a cutscene. And the transition seemed pretty well, pretty good, sorry. It's not that laggy, you know, we're getting about, well, 15 to, about 15 frames-ish, kind of. As you can tell though, the audio is delayed. Which is alright. I think this only happens on some cutscenes, because in the garage cutscene the audio was fine, so... This might be a one-off. As you can see though, that car model is pretty, um, pretty broken. That's just another bug. She'll be right. Skip ahead through the cutscene. And you can see here, when we get out of this map, we'll get some actually, like, nice performance. It's smooth? For a bit before it kind of degrades again. But the game is still playable. I could play this. I think the um, the limiting factor here is my CPU. I think if I had the higher AMD or Intel, really, I don't really care. If I had a higher um, 
more expensive version. I believe this could run a bit better. Maybe get closer to the 30 frames limit and have a playable game. Oh yeah, it is still playable right now. I, but you know what I'm saying. And we enter the garage. I'm telling you, Jeff, the ignition timing is You can off. see that the car model is broken a bit and that the car paint doesn't exist. It's just a white car. Yeah, I guess. It's too tight. And I'll show you that more in the actual customization. And as I said before, you can see the audio is working with the actual cutscene. It's not delayed. What can I do for you? You tell me? This is a full service shop. Performance, body, lights, paints, vinyl, whatever you want. I can also get you new rides, serious rides, no waiting list. Great, man. Thank you. Hey, there was just a guy in here, Martin, also a friend of books. At least he was till he got bored with the scene, or any scene. Nothing organized, that's his new vibe. Said he'd be on the strip, you know, right, Chiraco. You interested? Maybe. Fair enough. That's your own. It's too tight. <laughs> what anyway, Bobby? And there you go, there's our bugged car. Or damaged car model, I should be saying. But once we repair it, it's all good. <laughs> and we go into the customization, and customization seems to work well. There's no, it's not broken really. It actually works pretty well. It's not like there's missing or duplicate parts, you know? It all seems to go well. And we can go through and customize this car a little bit. And we reach the painting stage. I wanted to test this, right? So I can show you, as we go through the different primary colors here at the top right, you can see that it, the car stays as like a white. So the colors that we choose are just like kind of varianting the white. So if you go for a black, it's just like a, a dimmer white or like a, a grayer white. It doesn't actually make it black. But is what what is really interesting about this, right? I thought if this is what it, if this is doing this for the car body paint, will it do it for the rims? And we skip to the rims, right? And as you can see, we can paint the rims whatever color we want. It actually shows that color. So I'm making it this blue purple thing. I can't tell color, um, and it's all actually working. So it's just the body color that doesn't seem to work. And finally, when we're at night time, you can see that our car has this large black um, circular shadow that follows with us. I believe this is just a graphical bug with, um, I don't know the technical term, but at night time, the reflections and the shadow mapping, stuff like that, not working very well. But that can just be fixed with more improvements. As you can see, the audio is still kind of broken, but still not too bad but other than that game is pretty playable i'm pretty happy with this. this is way better improvement than it, what it was years ago so we can't really complain too much but um yeah just thought i'd show you that if you guys want to see the full gameplay clip without this voice narration and stuff um there'll be a link in the description and a little card thing as well put it up there again why not but um check out this emulator check out this game i love it and um, yeah, see you next time, guys. See ya.